Ken Huss, and welcome to this week's edition of Kenny's Two Pennies. This week we're going to talk about two things Syracuse, the great escape against Cornell, and also a preview of some upcoming opponents, and maybe a preview of who may lead us on the gridiron next. But first, a word from our sponsor. Hello Syracuse fans, want to know where I watch the Syracuse games? Right here at Dewey's Third Ward Tavern, Bridge Street in Seneca Falls. Want to watch the NFL? Dewey's has the NFL ticket. And also on Thursday nights, Dewey's has the NFL network. So you don't have to worry about missing if you got cable. Dewey's broadcasts all the Syracuse games, basketball and football. Dewey's has 21 televisions to watch all your sports action. Come to Dewey's Third Ward Tavern here on Bridge Street in Seneca Falls. I'll see you here. It's a very Kenny Christmas album starring Kenny. Experience the golden tones of Kenny as he sings such hits as Frosty the Snowman was a jolly happy soul. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. And who could forget yourself a merry little Christmas. And I then there's night. Holy Night. Or the sleigh bells ring a ling, ting, ting, ting a ling, too. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Or we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Or, sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, the snow is glistening. We're happy tonight, we're singing tonight, walking in a winter wonderland. Oh, or, Christmas. Order today. Well, Syracuse fans, last week I looked at our hell of a start, especially our big victory against Colgate, where we held them to 13 points in the first half, the lowest we had ever held an opponent to in the first half in a game in the Carrier Dome. A couple nights later, along comes our second most played against opponent for the basketball team. That team about 45-50 miles to the southwest of Syracuse. The Ivy League team. Mainly the team that comes from the nice picturesque city of Ithaca. The Cornell. The Big Red. And that's no chewing gum if I ever say it. Cornell is one hell of a university. Ivy League has produced a lot of great people like Carl Sagan and a lot of road scholars and in this year they're expected to be the number one basketball team in the Ivy League and you know what in the first half they sure played like it at one time it was like 25 to 9 Big Red Syracuse wasn't hitting all their shots the Big Red were and for a minute there I'm like oh heck we could uh, beat up on the team that's 15 miles away from us, but for these Ivy League kids, they're going to beat us. Luckily, Syracuse knew they had the talent to compete with them and beat them. We gently and slowly nudged the deficit down to about 7 to 5 points near the end of the first half and at halftime, and eventually we took control of the game in the second half. Thanks to Mr. Harris. Thanks to Mr. Flynn. Arinze with some great dunks. Devendorf with some clutch points. And all the rest to chipping in. An 88-78 win. The great escape. And heck, we didn't need Steve McQueen riding on his motorcycle to do that great escape. But what the hey? 8-0. What a hell of a start. 
And now, let's take a little look ahead to some upcoming opponents, Syracuse fans. Long Beach State. We played eight games in 18 days, and we got a 10-day rest. This Saturday, the 49ers of Long Beach State come into the Dome. But let's hope these 49ers aren't going to be looking for a little gold. Those San Francisco 49ers look for it on the gridiron and haven't found it in a few years. But hell, they could beat the Buffalo Bills. The next team, the Cleveland State Vikings. And that's no Minnesota. Nor is it. Bad joke. And two days later, the Canisius Golden Griffins. Oh, what the hell is a Golden Griffin? Is that a nickname they came up with out of the blue? Of course, if I was out of the blue, I wouldn't be sad. Canisius, our big team coming from the good metropolis of Buffalo. One of several universities from Buffalo. And of course, if we talk about UB, who Syracuse doesn't face, that's no bull. I expect three nice victories there. And then comes a big one. We beat Kansas earlier this year, the defending national titleists. So what do we do for an encore after a few tune-up games? We play the runner-ups for the national title, the Memphis Tigers. This is going to be another great test for our boys to see if we're willing and able and a team that should be back in the NCAAs. Heck, we could beat Kansas, although they're rebuilding. These Tigers are coached by Mr. Calipari, John Calipari, that is. But I wonder if they beat us, and I hope they don't, is Calipari going to do something that'll make Bayheim turn into John Chaney? He's going to get his ass blasted. Let's shut up. I'm, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll tell one of my kids to knock your in the mouth. Some things just never cease to amaze me, Mr. Calipari. Somehow I think you goaded Mr. Cheney on that one. And for a final tune-up before we get into our Big East bows, the Eagles from Coppin State, from the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. Over 10 years ago, we played you in the NCAA tournament in the first round. And we beat you. It'll be a nice tune-up for what is our final game in December and the first of our Big East tilt, the Seton Hall Pirates. Personally, I'm not sure how good Seton Hall has been so far, but after this little tune-up, once we get into the Big East schedule, that's when it counts. We got a loaded conference this year, Orange fans. They say maybe eight, nine, maybe even ten teams from the Big East can go to the big dance. That's how loaded, and it's going to be one hell of a conference play and tournament in March. But so far, so good, Orange basketball fans. We're eight and oh. We're ready to kick some more butt before we reach Memphis. And then we get into the meat of the schedule, the Big East. Let's keep it going, Orange Basketball. Let's keep it going, fans. And let's hope sooner or later we can get ourselves a gridiron coach. We haven't heard anything yet. Of course, if we get Lou Holtz's son, maybe he can do something like a pseudo chokehold. Yeah! Personally, I think I should have had somebody when I did that. But after all, Orange fans, let's hope for the best. Get somebody other than that loser we've had for four years. Loser. Every time I see Mr. Robinson, loser. I'm Ken Haas. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Loser.